Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for the Happy Friday. We've made it through another week, and I pray that your week was truly blessed by God. I'm excited for the weekend. There's a place here. Uh, it's the former Miramonte Resort, but Tommy Bahamas uh, bought it out. The restaurant in that resort is called Grapefruit Basil. They have the best steak tacos in the entire Coachella Valley. Uh, flour tortillas, but they literally use filet prime steak cutlets cooked to a perfect medium where they are juicy. Oh my gosh, they have some fresh cilantro. They have a big old fat lime wedge so you can really squeeze all the juice out on there. Cotija, is it cotija? Cotija, cotija, cotija cheese. They got a, just the slightest little diced tomatoes on there. Simple, plenty of juicy plump steak. It will set you free, whatever the case. Go out and get some good food and some good families, good fun this weekend. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 12 says, Like a gold ring or an ornament of gold is a wise reprover to a listening ear. Wise reprover is biblical language, but essentially means um, uh, an older, wise mentor or person. So the idea is that uh, gold and ornament, gold and, and treasure is the worth of someone willing to give you wisdom as long as you're willing to listen, okay? And so my encouragement to you today is to employ people in your life who have been down the road a little further than you that are gonna shape you and set you up for success in your life. I know my marriage wouldn't be as far as it is had I not had plenty of couples around me in April to show us the way. My parenting wouldn't be as far as it is, not that it's perfect, but it wouldn't be as far as it is had I not had other dads show me the way. You always have to be willing to pay attention to the warnings, to the caution flags, to the helpful advice, to the signs that people who are wise in the faith can give you. There is a f famous story about a family who went to SeaWorld years ago. And uh, the, the son, who was an older guy, someone in his 20s, uh, refused to pay attention to the sign to stay out of the killer whale pools. He sneaks back in after SeaWorld is closed. He jumps into the pool with the killer whales and killer whales did what killer whales do and they killed him. And the family sued saying, hey, you guys made it look like killer whales are just stuffed animals and they just, they love playing and all this kind of stuff. And of course they had to say, ma'am, the sign says killer whale. And if they would have paid attention to the sign, they would have navigated their way out of trouble. So Solomon here is saying, employ some wisdom around you so you can pay attention to those signs they give you to keep you out of trouble. Have some good food, some good fellowship. See you at church on Sunday. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.